Hi, Leather Rock here. Welcome to my channel. This is Tabby Boy. I keep on thinking about a future of what our club life is going to look like in this new reality that we have. Mwah. So here's what I came up with an idea for a makeup tutorial in the age of COVID-19. A look where you can put a mask on and you can still see the makeup. Okay, take a look at this. I'm going to show you how I came up with this look. I had to, I don't, I didn't think that you guys deserved the video that I shot on the boardwalk on Tuesday. And I wanted to have something in the can for you guys today. So take a look at this. I'm going to even try to see if I could get the sunlight out here for you. What do you think? If you want to see how I came up with the look, stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to do it. And it's a real easy look. All right, where's the palette, damn it? Okay, yes. With the um, ice cream palette, it is called Museum Ice Cream Slash Sephora Collection. And this is a very happy club look. As you can see, it's got dramatic eyeliner on it. And... It's the sort of thing that you can definitely see the eyes when you're wearing your mask because you really want to have expressive eyes now more than ever. Oh, and the dress. Do you want to take a look at this? I'm going to show you. I hope this thing doesn't fall down. This, uh, I like the detail. Color scheme's a little weird, but it's something that goes with the palette. So stay tuned. I'll show you one more time and this is how you're going to get the look. I did not put mascara on it because I was so afraid that the mascara was going to run. You can top it off with mascara, but I'm staying at home and I'm tired of mascara ruining everything. But stay tuned and you'll see the rest of this. Look what I have. Oh my goodness, I have a king. I have a king. Hey! Oh, I have a kitty. Oh, and you know who I am. My name is Leather Rock. I'm dropping my cat. Welcome to my channel. And, uh, I am going to put my cat down. And I'm going to put on some makeup. Now, I was supposed to have a video for you guys today. And... I had already filmed it on the boardwalk, and when I looked at what I shot, it looked like holy hell, and you guys deserve a lot better than that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some things together that are um, good enough for a quarantine, but still cute. And um, I'm going to go ahead and use the same palette that I have been using the hell out of lately. It's the Sephora slash Museum of Ice Cream palette. And, uh, you know, we're expecting another thunderstorm. Uh, and uh, this is what it looks like. And I like how the color themes are put in rows. So you don't have to really think it. You can just kind of put a bunch of things on one row together. And you can have a kind of nice monochromatic look. And it includes some muted things, or you could get colorful if you want. Well, now, what I'm going to do is, with all of these stay-at-home looks I've been doing, and frankly, anything, whenever you're wearing a mask. And hold on a second, you guys. Let, yeah. let me show you, let me show you my N95 mask. Any kind of mask you're going to wear, you got to think about, do you really want to have foundation makeup? that's going to get on that mask, make it much harder to keep clean. It's better not to wear anything except your skincare and your sunblock, okay? Now, I'm going to prep my eyelids with this, uh, my uh, Color Mates Compact Makeup. It's the color light. Just get that good with my fingers. And I'm going to go ahead and use the mirror that comes with this Museum of Ice Cream palette. 
I don't know why it got all the bad reviews it did, to be honest with you. I mean, it has... I'm surprised at just how subtle some of these colors are that are on in it. But I really do find it very, very useful. I love how it has at least two brow bone colors in it. So if you're a person who is extremely, extremely fair, you already have something that's very practical because you have both a brow bone color and you could use it as an all over color to set uh, your eyelids or tell you, boy, I see you. Or you could use it as a highlighter. And uh, I think every makeup palette should have at least one eyebrow shade. Just speaking as a person with my skin issues. But that's something I really like a lot about it. Now I know I have a lot of sentimental attachment to this palette. Because my daddy used to sell ice cream on the beach. So that was the main thing. And getting it on sale didn't hurt either. But really, as far as the quality of the shadows, there isn't a color that I haven't tried at least once. And I don't know what people's issues are. All right. Uh, I would like to um, cut down on the noise of the neighbors. Unfortunately, uh, I have the window, I don't have the window open, but I have the shades, everything pulled back to let as much light in as possible. I would like to get closer to the window if I could, but I don't know if I can get this. I only have two arms and uh, okay, I don't need this anymore, so. Oh man, I see such an interesting assemblage of humanity coming from across the street to directly it seems like underneath my window and I really do not care to have them add to the soundtrack of my video okay. I'm gonna get as much light for this as possible <laughs> Well, now hopefully this is balanced enough so that it can't possibly fall. I would be very, very upset with that if that happens. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, since I prepped the surface, now actually what I should do is tie my hair back. Now, I'm afraid that this is going to fall backwards on here. I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to add a part two to this. I'm going to tie my hair back first. Before I do anything, I guess I'm going to have to put you down. Okay. So. And I think I have everything within easy grab of where I'm going. And uh, Tabby Boy, if you try to do anything over there and I have to spank your butt. Okay, uh, since I prepped my eyelids already. I'm going to go straight to work with this palette and all my brushes are here. Uh, I want to really get a nice colorful eye and I'm not even going to start with the brow bone first. I'm going to get on with the B&H Cosmetics Studio Pro number six and I'm going to have at it with the orange or no, I'm going to have it have at it with the hot pink. And this brush, um, uh, and hold on a second. I think my cat's doing something bad. You want to see a bad kitty? He just went wee-wee behind my stand-up desk. He's a bad cat. All because I wouldn't let him out my door. And he saw I was filming. And he did. Bad girl, boy. Bad boy. Bad, 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 bad. Bad boy. Bad cat. Tell me was a bad boy. Bad wee wee cat. Very bright, hot pink, matte color. And I'm going to go the heck out of it uh, on on my uh, crease. And I'm going to go ahead. And an interesting thing with these uh, colors, at least with this matte here, 
even though I coated the brush very nicely, I still don't have too much on. And that's nice. So you can't really overdo it. I think they're... So I really don't know why anybody would pan this. See, for some reason, I thought, it seems to me when I get my head really close up against the wall, it looks to me like the lighting is really beautiful. But I can't seem to translate that. on camera. All right, now let's get another color. Get another big fluffy brush. This is B&H Cosmetics Studio Pro number five. And yeah, I'm just gonna hook this up here. And I'm gonna dip into that orange color. And it's also matte. And I'm going to pack it on the lid. I'm going to hope that the eyelids are tacky enough from the uh, foundation, that solid cream foundation that we already put on. These brushes, they are very fluffy and soft, so they disperse as much as they deposit color. But a lot of people feel more comfortable with that when you're dealing with very bright shadow colors like this. But if you, the more you pat them on, they will continue to deposit color. And it also helps to blend the colors a little bit. And if you want, you can dip some more into that orange and pat it on the lid. Do the same to the other side. I think this makes it, gives it a very tropical color. Now, I want to go back into the foundation that I used to uh, coat my eyelids so that these colors would stand out. And it's right here, my color mates. I really can't say enough about how much I love them for traveling. They weigh nothing. They're not a liquid, so they can't spill. Uh, depending on the kind of security I have to go through, you're not going to get in trouble with the government. Now, I can't tell you anything about airplane stuff because I don't travel that way, but oh, what I want to do with this, I got ahead of myself there. I want to use, I love using the end of makeup brushes to get a fine bit of foundation. Creams work best. And when you want to coat your foundation right underneath your eyelid, your uh, lash line, this is such a great way to do it. It's better than using another uh, eyeliner pencil. I mean, another eyeliner brush. Especially if you only have so many brushes and you don't want to dirty them on, up unnecessarily. Now, one thing I, I like to do, um, uh, I have enough brushes so I can do this. Uh, if you have a whole bunch of Q-tips, you can do it. It's good to clean up the under area in case there is some of the foundation from above because I already the reason why I'm adding the cream foundation underneath is because I want to deliberately put some some eyeshadows underneath if there is already color from eyeshadows that I applied then it's kind of going to defeat the purpose of the purposeful colors I want to apply so I'm going to go back with the foundation under each eye And then as soon as I do that, let's pick some color. So and that weighs nothing. When you want you want things that when you're packing to travel, uh, that is it really is good. I'm very happy with that makeup, and you get it at the dollar store. That is so wonderful. Now, I want to use a smaller brush. And in my, if you want, you could go as fine as an eyeliner brush. You don't need to get this fine. But uh, one of the smaller brushes, uh, this is even a little thick. 
uh, something that can get you a nice little point. Uh, oh, this will be nice. Here. This is a B&H Cosmetics uh, number 9 Studio Pro. It's a flat shader brush. I want to set these down so I don't get them on my clothes here. Now, I know this is not what you call a quarantine dress, but uh, I figure I'm jonesing for having places to go out and do things. I know everybody here is. There are so many options that you can do for underneath here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the orange again because that's what I have on my eyelid. So I'm just going to tap it onto the exposed uh, foundation. I did something I haven't done in a while. Yesterday I actually went ahead and I put on mascara and uh, I didn't really bother with eyeliner, but I, I did mascara. But I did that crappy Ulta bold, uh, uh, bold ambition mascara that really doesn't. The, the combs are interesting, but it runs. I get the least little bit watery on my eyes, and it just runs. But it looks so much. It does look better to have darker lashes, but. I just hate going through the trouble of doing makeup and then you can't see it because um, the mascara ran on it and you have to redo the whole thing. I hope you could see what I'm doing. I, I That whole makeup tutorial I tried doing on the boardwalk, uh, I got the lighting all wrong and uh, my face was totally... In the shadows for most of the time and it was something I don't think it would be fair for me to have you guys suffer through it even though you could hear my speaking for the most part and it was kind of an idiot proof kind of simple thing because I edited it so that you could see uh, the finished product in the beginning and you'd have to be a totally uh, have been dropped on your head as a child to not figure out the placement of the colors yeah, palettes like this are really easy enough to figure out how to get the look that it appears to be. Now, what I'm doing with this orange eyeliner is I am carrying it up to the angle that an eyeliner would be. And I'm just carrying it out. And if I have to, I'll get more try to get the angle right it's a very graphic look and this is a look that normally you could get either an orange or a pink lip to, to pair with it but in the age of mask wearing I would say that a lip color is optional because I'm imagining some futuristic time where the clubs are going to be open up again, but because of social distancing, you can't be within six feet of other people. Or maybe they'll have circles on the dance floor that you have to try to keep behind. And maybe they'll have to water down the alcohol because I can't imagine having alcohol build up in you and still people keeping social distancing in your mind. I, I don't know how that's possible because alcohol, you get the oh, what the hell thing and you really cannot be careful i i know as a person who i used to drink before i stopped drinking so all right let's see how this looks up close i'm so afraid of all those things spilling i would be very pissed off if that happens do you see what i did now i'm going to get really close to the window to see if that's going to be better natural light Uh, if you guys want, I can add a brow bone color. I really don't think that that's that necessary. Oh, you know that brush that I used to do the eye color underneath there? I just dropped that on the carpet. I'm not happy about that. Okay, I think we can do some eyeliner now. So, with that, I'm going to go into... 
Oh, and two more brushes fell onto my filthy, disgusting carpet. Ew. I'm gonna trip, drip into my tried and true, uh, wet and wild H2O proof. This is such a weird eyeliner. I went and got two of them because there was a buy one, get one half off sale. And the first one just ran on me and was the antithesis of waterproof. The second one I started to use just to use it, right? It actually is waterproof. And I don't, I don't know that the batch numbers were different, but the fact that one did not work for me and the other did. The only thing is it just tends to feather and get too thick in the, at the top in the corner and then it comes down, comes off on the underneath and it's very easy to get too much. But I really want my eyes to pop and I think one of the things now, if you're going to be wearing masks, I think it's more important than ever to have expressive eyes. It will help us to communicate better. We're going to just be over six feet apart. And you really want to, the eyes are the window to the soul. And imagine that there's some people who don't have vision protection, uh, 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 vision uh, enhancement. So you're going to need to be expressive from a distance. So all the more reason to wear makeup. I'm going to go ahead and use the same thing. I hope you can see. Okay, I'm going to start. Oh, you know what? There is no color at all on this. That is weird. All right. I don't know. I want to make sure that I get in the light. I have a real problem with that. I have a light thing here. Wait. I have a light thing here. Um... Oh, now I put it here. Now it stopped working. Oh, now it works over there. I, I don't know what to tell you guys. Uh, I can put this closer to the window. Do you want me to put... The, nah. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to hope you guys know what it looks like to just line an eye. Okay. I'm not going to do the wing yet. I'm going to just do the top first. I really don't want this to smudge. It just really bothers me. Uh, I took so much time with my mascara yesterday. Yeah. It was fine for a couple hours. And when my eyes finally watered, it started with a little bit of a raccoon thing. Then it got so bad that one eye eyeshadow on one side was way lighter and faded more than the other. And I realized that even if I wanted to say, do a talk about makeup and the tutorial of the look, I would have had to wash everything off and start all over again. Okay, you see how I did the, the wing already, even though I haven't done the under eye yet. And that's usually not a good idea, because then, once you get the under eye part, then you're going to have a challenge uh, hitting them both the same way and making sure that they're symmetrical. So, it looks very dark, what I'm doing right here. This is, but as dark as this may look now, this is nothing compared to what I shot on the boardwalk. Uh, last, yeah, on Tuesday. See, even this looks like it's too, too thick. One of the things I really love to do with my eyeliner is I like to get it to a point where it's almost bird-like. Uh, I always try for as thin an eyeliner as possible, but it invariably gets thicker as I try to even it out, because you think it's even, and then you realize that one side is thicker than the other, so you have to thicken up the other end as a, to, to compensate, and eventually you get some kind of symmetry. 
but you really want to try to avoid having to clean up the thing because when you do that it just smears to a certain degree and you're never going to get it crisp again unless you mess with concealer and then it's going to keep on raccooning and then, it's, and then the cycle just it never ends And you really don't want to get this eyeliner too thick because you just put all that orange and you don't want to cover up all the orange that you put. Because you can put some more orange back and what you're going to do is you're going to fade over some of this black. And I don't want to have to keep on going over with the black otherwise it will raccoon. Oh man. Not good. And you don't want to be doing what I'm doing. You see how I was uh, pushing it really hard? That is stretching the skin, and that's not a good idea. Really not a good idea. But a good quick uh, thing to deal with that on the fly. You got gonna have one clean finger yet. Put it into that solid makeup. Look in the mirror real quickly. I don't feel like adding another piece of this and editing another piece of footage. Whoops. Clean your finger off. Oh man. More of this. These, these things. And next time I go to Dollar Tree, if I am going to dare going out in a pandemic I still have not gone I mean I have even with the kind of mask I have now I really do not feel like I want to all right now you know what I'm going to have to do just to make sure that it's symmetrical I'm going to get some of that foundation on my other finger or, or not on another finger on one of the same fingers I'm going to get it under, under your eye too because the whole idea is you want your eyes to match Now, if you want to get some more orange so they match, uh, in my case, that brush is down on the ground. So I'm going to tip into another brush, but I'm going to hold my finger on it so that only so that I have control. And I'm going to go back under under the eyes. You definitely don't want to use the same kind of fluffy brushes that we used before because if you do, they're going to be, you're going to have your color like a half an inch underneath your eye and I don't think that you want that. Plus, it'll you'll be so low that it will come off on your mask and that's really not practical. Now, of course, I could see what I did there. This is a lot thicker than I planned on it being, but... Uh, but you know what? All you have to do is go into your new or into your brushes. Get something like this. Okay. Then get into. Okay. Well, here. New trick here. Look at this. You see how this color is too close to underneath? Quick way to clean it up on the fly. I'm using one of my favorite brushes, the B&H Cosmetics Studio Pro number 17. And in my bag of tricks here, and this is where I keep all my foundations and concealers, I'm going to use a concealer. And I'm going to, this is one thing I don't like about it is it's a little bit too dark for me, but it's by a company called Sassy Lady. I'm going to put some on the, on the brush here and I'm going to, use this kind of like you would a um i guess like a uh, concealer brush and i'm gonna just go under here like this a little bit that will take up some of the excess color uh clean this off tap it back onto the hand go under here tap this under just a little bit see that now it's not too much now this wipe it off 
wipe it off. Now, all you have to do is grab your mask and, oops, another thing fell onto my filthy floor. Put this on your hand, around your head first. Put this over here. Now, take your hair down. Okay, if you're in a hurry, this is a way that you can do your makeup. And then, I don't know when the clubs are ever going to get back to normal. I don't know that when what our normal is going to be. But this very easy look using this palette, Museum of Ice Cream and Sephora. Enjoy. At least the lighting's better. Take care. Be safe out there. Please stay away from each other. Please don't uh, don't be spreading the virus when you're out demonstrating or doing anything. And don't do anything stupid. Okay. Oh, and if you like this video, uh, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you like me and my content, uh, feel free to subscribe. Try to come up with great things three times a week, and uh, like to take you along on my adventures. And I'd like to be able to have adventures, you know? This, this virus is really messing things up for people. But I want you to stay alive to watch my stuff. Talk to you soon. Bye.